<laughs> Welcome to Rocket Burger. May I help you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, I, 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 I've lived down the street for like 12 years. I, I've never been in here. Okay. So what's good? That's the menu. Oh, pictures. Rocket Burger. What's that? A hamburger. And uh, is it good? I mean, do people like it? Regular people? It's popular. Super Rocket. What's that? It's bigger, and it has secret sauce. Secret sauce, fantastic. What's in that? They don't tell us. So it's like a mystery? Oh, the monk loves mysteries. I'm a detective. I think it's just Russian dressing. Oh, man. You just ruined it for me. Sorry. Why'd you do that? It's no fun now, is it? Bringing the monk down, man. Bringing us all down. Isn't this great? What's that? I don't know, this is this. People, hamburgers, condiments, us, you know? It's two, two regular guys. How's your super rocket? It's good. Um, you got a little ketchup in your shirt Who there. gives a crap? I don't. That is a weird case. You know, there was a suicide five blocks away three minutes before the shooting. Yeah, I hope they get this guy. No, they'll get him. You know why? I'm on the case. I'm a detective. Maybe you heard of me. Adrian Monk. I'm pretty famous. I don't want to brag, but I saw a lot of high-profile cases. Hey, if it's true, it's not bragging. Uh -huh. huh? Hey, can, yeah. I, can I steal that? My name's Salvatore. My friends call me Sal. Sal? Yeah. What do you do? Ah. Car salesman. 11 years. What kind of car you drive? I'm currently between vehicles, as they say. Really? Why are you smiling? <laughs> Talk to Denny. He can cover Thursday and Friday if you want to take some time off. No, I'm good. Are you sure? They're pretty heavy days. Friday, we got that big federal money transfer. I'd rather work. I don't blame you. I'm the same way. It's best to stay busy. Call him again. I've been calling him every 10 minutes. Well, then try his shrink. I already did, and he missed his appointment this morning. Has that ever happened? No, he never misses anything. Gosh, you know what? Maybe I should just call the police. Hey, how's it going? Oh, man. What are you wearing? It's a little something called style you wouldn't understand. Where's the captain? He's signing us in. How you doing, Toy Store? What did you call me? Toy Store. Your name is Disher. Dish. Plate. Play-to. Play-dough. And where do you buy Play-dough? Toy Store? That's what I'm talking about. Adrian. You've got to tell Dr. Kroger to adjust your dosage. My dosage is fine. She needs to wear one of these. Mother of mercy, what happened to you? Will you listen to me? You are having a terrible reaction to this medicine. I'm having a terrible reaction, all right, to you guys. All hey, of you. can I talk to you for a minute? Can this wait? Because I'm about to tear Come this one. Look at me, Mom. Take off the glasses. Sharon is right, you need help. Leland, Leland, I'm fine, I feel fine, really. My mind is clear for the first time in years, like a curtain has been lifted, okay? Let, 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 let's do some police work here. Is there a suspect in the house? Yeah. Okay. It's right over there. You thought I was good before. Wait till you see this. Hey, you might want to take some notes or something. Lester Highsmith. That's me. Lester Highsmith. You been a bad boy, Lester? 
Me and my posse would like to have a little word with you. Lester Highsmith, you were married to Marlene Highsmith, is that correct? That's right. We're sorry about what happened. How are you? How long have you worked here, Les? Uh, about a year and a half. Is this guy with you? I could never work here. Couldn't wear the uniform. It's not my scene. I would never hire you. Were you here on Monday? Uh, that depends. What time? Oh, say about 12.05 p.m. Just about the time your ex was jumping off her own balcony wearing nothing but a bathroom. You think I killed her? Oh, yeah. At 12.05, I was standing right here. That's true. We were with him. I have his time card right here. You left at 12.15? Yes, sir. I checked my voicemail. There was a message from Marlene. She was depressed. Again. She said she was really going to do it this time. Why don't you call the police? Well, she's been threatening to jump for years. It's kind of her theme song. I drove over there to calm her down. It was a couple of miles away, but I couldn't get anywhere near the place. The whole place had roadblocks. A cop had been shot. That was me. Oh, that's tough. I know. I was shot a couple of years ago on the job. They found a gun. It was registered to your wife. Can you explain that? I can't. Can you? Can you? I just said I can't. I didn't even know she had a gun. What kind of car do you drive? A Corolla. What color is it? Turquoise. That's blue, isn't it? I guess Did it is. Did you shoot my partner? What? Huh? No. Why would, I, why would I shoot you, huh? I mean, do I even know you? Have we even met? Give me one good reason why I would hurt you, especially then, 10 minutes after my ex-wife jumps off a balcony in her bathrobe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Time out. How did you know she was in a bathrobe? We never said anything about bathrobe. Yes, you did, two minutes ago. All right. Come on. Give me those, give me those no, pills. No, Keep... no, no, Sharona, no. The monk needs the pills, OK? Stop. Give them to me. No. Just don't do this. No. Just give them to me. Randy. Hey, Randy, give no. them to me. But, give them no. to me. All right, come on, give them to me. I want them. Get away. Sharona, give them to me. Just give them to me. Captain. I am so out of here. Just throw it to him? I thought he would catch it. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.